Okay. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Tiara Sparrow and today I'm going to be doing a makeup and hair product review. Um, so I'm really excited. I've done my makeup but I have not done my eyebrows. So the product I'm going to be reviewing is the Microblading Eyebrow Pen by Eye Method. And I will link the product below in the description so you can check it out. I got it from Amazon. And I'm also going to be reviewing a baseball cap wig. I'm going to put a photo somewhere. Um, so that I also got on Amazon for like 15 bucks. And so I saw the reviews for these products on Amazon and I thought, well... I have to try it. Oh my gosh, I'm sorry. My camera keeps shutting off. Oh, right. So if you're interested in seeing the re my review of these products, then stay tuned because that's what I'm gonna be doing in this video. Let's get started. <laughs> so it came in a like plastic little box and it says, follow us on Instagram, because their Facebook and their Gmail and everything. So cool. I'm kind of scared to use this because I'm scared it is going to have a permanent tattooing effect. Some people said that it lasted like a couple days on their the Amazon reviews. So I'm hoping I don't fudge this up and mess up my eyebrows for a couple days. But okay. Okay, so the instructions say sweep. Firstly, sweep away to shape brow contour, then gently define the brows from from sparse area. Finally, use the pen fill in color by a 45 degree angle evenly to create perfect 3D eyebrows. So, let's get it. So that's the first step. I brushed out my eyebrows and now this is the scary part. This is the part I'm scared of. Okay, so this is how the pen looks. It's like you could see the little fine edges and this is me just doing a sweep of it so it looks dope okay um uh -oh. okay so it says it's waterproof for 24 hours oh my gosh i'm getting nervous okay so let me zoom in on my eyebrows real quick zoom 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 all right so oh gosh i'm so nervous oh, i'm so nervous okay so this is first try to fill out your shape Ooh, I like this. Okay. Ooh, okay. So I'm scared to go too way too hard on it, but it is kind of cool. I'm trying to line. Oh, no. I'm trying to line my shape, but my eyebrows are just not cleaned. <laughs> so all right. So and then it says just to sparsely fill. Okay. Yeah. Okay. It's starting to fill out a little bit. I d ooh. I do want a natural eyebrow look. Like with microblading, it kind of makes it look like your natural brow. Um. I want it to look so natural, but I'm scared. Okay. So I feel like you have to apply a bit of pressure on it. Um, my eyebrows already aren't really even. So, oh my gosh, it makes me scared because maybe I should have outlined my brows beforehand. So, okay, I'm nervous. I'm just going to go to the next one because this is like a lot of pressure. So I'm just... Doing it lightly. Oh, okay, you have to push down a little bit to really get the that looks thick, but it's supposed to be really thin like that. Okay, so first I'm trying to draw underneath to get the general shape, and then I'm just drawing in. Ooh! Ah! Okay, so no. Okay, this is a forty. It said do it at a forty-five degree angle. So okay, I know ninety. Okay. 45 degree angle. So what does that even mean? I don't, I'm scared of doing this wrong. Okay, all right. Maybe I should, maybe I should have practiced beforehand. So, and I think I'm, the color is a little too brown. 
I didn't want to go black and have it be dramatic, but I'm not sure if it's blending. This one is looking crazy. Ooh. Oh no, baby. This is not gonna work for me. Let me zoom back up for a second. I don't think it's bad. I think I personally, this is my first time using the product and I don't know what I'm doing. It looks kind of natural. It's not awful. It's a little dark. Um, it's a little thick. I don't know why this brow came out much more natural and a little bit better than this one. Um, but I think I was doing too much force on the left one. I'm going to take my Anastasia Brow Wiz and just kind of help line it up because I feel like I should have lined it from the beginning. I'm gonna see if I can just maybe conceal this a little bit and just lighten the color up. I tried to um, fix it up a little bit. I tried to fix it up a little bit. Um, if you put too much pressure on the brush, it's darker and you should be doing it at some particular angle, which I just don't know how I'm supposed to do a 45 angle on my eyebrow. I guess 90 degree is up, so it's saying go sideways, but I mean, I feel like that's kind of intuitive. So, <laughs> okay, yeah. So this is how it looks. It's actually growing on me. Um, I'm not, I'm not sure how it's gonna look to you guys, but for me, I think it's okay. I would wear my brows like this, and I think it looks kinda natural. I think it looks kinda natural. Like, I don't think it looks bad. And when I look in the mirror, I like it more, which is weird. Yeah, I don't know what you guys are gonna think about it, but I like it, and I think that if I just took a little bit more time to research and practice how to use it, I think I would like it even more, or I'd be even better at trying to line it up. So, I think, yeah, I would I would recommend that if you're interested and you think that it looks good, if you like the product, I would say you should definitely try it. It's not hard to really get the effect you're looking for, and if you mess up, it's not hard to really like correct the issue. So, this is a yes, this is a thumbs up that I would recommend. <laughs> thumbs up if you think the eyebrows look good. Thumbs up if you think the eyebrows look good. Thumbs down if you think it looks bad. But please don't thumbs me down. That's gonna like hurt my feelings. But if you think it looks bad, you can thumbs it down. I'm not gonna try to censor your opinion. Okay, so the next part of this video is the Amazon baseball, the Amazon baseball cap uh, wig review. And so I'm gonna have to probably like twist up my hair or do something with my hair and sorry my hair is just rough. It's just rough. I didn't I didn't do a protective style last night. I was being lazy. I just threw a bonnet on and now my hair looks like this. So it's very cool. It does come with its own wig cap. It's great because I would have to go search for one. All right, and I got this color in like a reddish color to try to match my hair, my uh, like uh, my cherry wood hair color. Uh, but yeah, I felt like this was kind of a close match to my hair color, so I thought, okay, let's just go with this goldenish color. Okay, so this is the wig, and and. It smells clean. It smells like somebody washed it before they sent it and combed it because it's just really detangled. It smells really clean, which I appreciate. I like clean smelling stuff. And this is it. Ah! Inches in a baseball cap. Okay, so I'm feeling it. Um, it looks good, smells good. Um, and this, mind you, this was only around $15. That's why I was kind of skeptical, but I was like, at the very worst, what am I losing other than $15? And it got good reviews. So I was like, okay, I'm gonna try this. So I will be right back. I'm gonna, okay, like I'm gonna be honest, my mom or my friends would twist or braid my hair for me. So I actually don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> 
so I'm back and all right I have a big head I have big hair I know and I'm not good at wig application so look at the more we learn and the more we know I mean I guess I could have like pressed my hair or stretched my hair and you know pinned it when it was necessary but this is last minute so I don't, I'm not gonna lay my edges or anything unless it's necessary so are you guys ready and this is how it looks on the inside. I think this is really cool. Like, it's a cool concept. Like, if you don't feel like really having to do all of that in your hair and everything, you want to go out, like, just for a fun day, a date, like, a nice evening. Okay, <laughs> so I'm just going to be, I'm just going to try to put this on and see if, oh, okay. Hold on. Let me see if I could adjust the back because I have a big head. I have a big forehead and I have a just a big head. So most of the time I don't wear baseball caps because... Um, my head is big. <laughs> so, so difficult. Oh! Okay. Ah! <laughs> hold on, hold on. Let me, um, let me try to <laughs> get my hair a little bit flat, flatter in the back. Hold on, I'm sorry. Okay, so... My head is just big, like it's too big for this kind of cap. And I look like a pinhead. <laughs> But here, okay, so you guys can get kind of a view of the back. I don't know if you could see the knot at the bottom. Hold on. So, you know, disclaimer, this is just a review. Um, my hair, I didn't do the proper prep for this type of, I didn't think the, the cap would, or the hat would be so tight. So, this is kind of like the look. It's, It's not bad, it's just not my favorite kind of wig. I've never had a baseball cap wig. I like the hair color. I mean, some people don't like this like reddish color, but I really love this color. It's like For me, I just feel like I'm getting kind of the quality that I paid for. It's not bad though. Like I don't wanna say that it's bad because I feel like there are people who could be more prepared than me and rock this or if your head is smaller than mine you could probably rock this but um i just don't see myself really possibly wearing this in the future just because it looks like it just looks so tight on my head <laughs> i don't know what it is it just looks tight on my head and i'm not like a hat person like that i just thought it would be cool to try it out and see and it was so inexpensive i just wanted to see what the quality was like the pictures were nice but it's just not my style um so if you're into that though i mean the baseball cap look if you're into it if it's your style i feel like go for it i'm gonna put the links and everything i just feel like the way my head shape is set up and my like just my head shape just is not working with this but anyway if you're interested I'm still again like for the hundredth time I'm gonna put this below if you want to buy it or if you're interested in it it's not me but it's something so I hope that I could help somebody who is interested in these materials and wanted to know how it looked, how it turned out. Um, <laughs> that's my review for these products. Again, I will link them below. If you like the video, feel free to like. If you uh, disagree with anything or want to leave a comment, feel free to leave a comment. Um, yeah, if you like the content I'm creating, let me know. Leave a thumbs up. Uh, I will be back. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm scrambling. I will be back soon with more reviews and more videos. This is something I've been wanting to do for a long time. Anyway, I love you. If you made it this far, thank you so much for watching. It is nice to meet you if you're new to my channel. Um, if you are looking forward to new content, feel free to subscribe. I'm wishing you so much peace and blessings and fun um, right now, but also please stay home or please um, be very cautious of your health. Like that is the most valuable thing that we have as humans. Just wanna put that out there. Wear a mask, be careful, hand sit, wash your hands. That's all I have to say for real this time. And I love you. Bye. <laughs>